Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can feel happy and enjoy so that we can raise our vibration. Because if you don't raise our vibration frequency, what happens is we're going to stay in the low vibration frequency and then we are going to match with all the low vibration frequency out there in the world. And this is super important, this word matching. And I didn't actually realize that perhaps you really don't pay attention to this matching to, to the higher vibration frequency you want to attract into your life in terms of the energy level and then also belief. So there's a two very, very important keys that we're going to talk about in this video. And before we dive in, I want you to understand perhaps you're feeling low vibration frequency and then you're recognizing it. You know, you're stressed all the time, your cortisol is is just coming out from your body all the time and you're always caught up with the tasks and the work and especially if you have a busy life business on your own like me or you are working for a company just like you have to work so hard every single day and perhaps that's something that you wanted before you know you went to school and you graduated and now you've got like really nice high paying job but because of that you don't have a space and time for you to feel the joy and happiness. And so the weekends, you just go and party in and drink and X, Y, Z. If you are struggling, especially feeling that joy and happiness, like a childlike joy and happiness, and always sort of in this like busy mindset, and then you're just so used to saying, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy. Well, I am busy too, but uh, let's agree the fact that we can always find a time and space and then choose to use the time, whether it's just a 30 minutes or one hour, we can find this time and space and acquire our mind and just stay calm and just enjoy this silence or perhaps a peaceful state of our mind. Or you can just find something that puts a smile on your face. So if you stay, as I said before, if you stay in this low vibration frequency, what happens is you match with all the low, low vibration frequency, the low energy that matches with your frequency in the world beyond time and space. So you attract these people to you and distract the things and experiences to you because of the low vibration frequency you produce. It's, it's just a matching, you know, whether you like it or not, it's just matching to these things and people. And if you want to achieve goals, or if you want to pursue your dreams, if you want to manifest abundance and the better lifestyle that you always, you know, dreamed of, or perhaps better people around you, it's just you're not matching with them. You're not matching with these things and events and experiences and people because of what you produce. So what we can do in order to change that and raise the vibration frequency is obviously the joyfulness happiness and in all these internal emotions because there's the two things that you need to really really understand is that your mind if you want to approach to your mind it's very psychological space changing belief is going to the key and a ticket to bend your reality for your body it's the feeling okay as i said feeling joy feeling happiness feeling content or feeling peace and feeling love that's why self-love is so important. Self-love is not to justify your existence without doing anything or look in the mirror and say, yeah, I'm good enough. If you're not matching it, then you have to understand there's something to be improved. There's something that it needs to be worked. Because if you look at that, I believe that, you know, there are a lot of people who speak, uh, who preach self-love, tell everybody that, hey, you're good enough. Yes, you're good enough. Because... Everything exists in this world is beautiful, right? But there's something that you want to change. Then, of course, change to be made because nothing will change in your life if you don't change something in your life or right, within you, okay? So in order to do so, the, essentially, the ultimate self-love is you being able to feel the certain emotions and certain feelings within you and look, in, look at the world in the different lenses. And in order to do so, there's some works of need, works uh, needs to be made, right? All the wild animal has to do something, hunt and go for a walk or, you know, go on a journey such a long miles to just drink water. And then when we look at these animals, they're always working on themselves. So they're always in a survival. But I believe that they find joy and happiness 
within these journey. So we can't just put sit or sit in the, in the chair, lay down on the bed and try to accept ourselves without doing anything. So from that perspective, everything you want to achieve or everything you want to change internally requires a certain level of work, okay? But the best thing about loving yourself is not like, you know, de de rejecting everything out there, but accepting what is the condition and what is the, what is the idea and you know, what is the society is and what is our existence. Because there's a, there's a beautiful quote from Dalai Lama. You have to understand the rule in order to break the rule properly. And this speaks so much about us adjusting and adapting into a certain society or idea or rules, but also understanding how we can build a relationship with all these things and people around us. And perhaps you can sometimes break the rule. And I'm not suggesting any of you guys to break the law, but my point is, in order to express your originality and uniqueness, sometimes you don't fit in these ideas, and that's okay. So this is exactly how you can raise your vibration frequency and approaching to your mind and approaching to your body. So for your mind especially, we are going to need words, language, because language is a magic, it's a spell. So this is my journal book. It speaks about journaling often in this, uh, my channel, but you have to journal, write things down positively. I never write things random on my thought because I meditate. I don't need to organize my thought because I understand that it's all random. We have 60,000, 60,000 thoughts per day. So we are just every second we are thinking something random. It can be just like absolutely nonsense. Where we start immediately start thinking about this past, which has nothing to do with the present moment or current issue or anything. We're just like, huh? So somehow something reminds us, right? So I don't organize my thought because I meditate, and I just learn to let go of my thought and be the observer rather than be a thinker and then be participating all these random thoughts. So when I write, I change colors as well. I don't know if you can see. I use red and blue and black. Um, so it's visually a little bit more colorful and effective because I'm a visual learner. And then I write things down. Everything is positive and everything is basically experience. So I don't write how because how at this point is not relevant. So when I write, I'm so grateful and happy or something that I want to feel. I feel energetic. I feel amazing. And I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for I have an amazing life and amazing house and etc. And... Everything about your future should be very detailed and not the how I am going to like do this and do that and then achieve this. Not the way that you include how, but you want to just write down experiences. For example, I became this wellness coach. I became this spiritual um, uh, influencer or something like that. And then you, what is the experience that comes with it? And then you write that down possibly. And also the affirmation, your voice is also vibration frequency, right? If you look at the speaker, it's vibrating, right? So your voice shakes up your skull as a vibration frequency because you're the closest person listening to your words. So be careful what you say because it vibrates in your skull and in an entire body, like each cell of your body. And these two things are very, very important. It's also a reminder every morning. I have to remind myself. I have to remind myself by writing and then saying affirmations to what my vision is, what I want and how I want to feel and all these reminders. I have daily reminder as well. And reminding myself and setting certain mindset and intention in the morning allows me to hold on to that the entire day rather than just forget about what I want, forget about my vision and just go through a day completely unconscious. And in order to approach your body, you have to have exercise, okay? So what I said about the voice is a vibration frequency. This video, we are talking about raising a vibration frequency, right? And imagine you jump, just simple thing, jump. What happens? It vibrates, right? So when you have a shock, like jumping, it's a vibration, right? This shock vibrates a certain um, level is it depends on how high you jump and depends on how intensely you do it. And obviously, um, the exercise is depending on your level and how much you want to 
participate in it. Like I hit gym almost every day and then I go hard because I have a goal, right? I want to be like bigger and then I want to shred it. And I think as a man, if you're watching, if you're a man and you want to really go hard, like you want to be strong, right? At least that you don't have to be the strongest man in the world. But I think you have to have the willingness. I want to be stronger and then I'm working on it. And that is the most important thing because that gives you so much testosterone and so much um, a, mindset, a stronger mindset and stronger mentality for you to make a change, to bend your reality, to create. Because if you want to be a creator of your reality, you have to have a level of like the stronger mentality, the creator mentality, right? And for your female, you don't have to be like six pack shredded, like bodybuilder type of looks. And if you want to perceive that, I think it's a beautiful thing. But Again, when it comes to the exercise, understanding your level, understanding your physicality, understanding the way you are, because you want to start slow, you you want to get injured, and then like you know the next three months you can't fucking work out, right? So, but again, if you work out, there will be a certain level of vibration that affects your body, and the, the exercise is so good because. The exercise itself, and there's a study shows that increases a, a serotonin level. Serotonin is a, is a amino acid, right? It's called tryptophan. And this is basically called a happy hormone. It, it just makes you feel good. It's a feel good hormone, right? So like the more you exercise every single day, it doesn't have to be like hit gym, like uh, go hard. Uh, you can do a dancing, you can do a bit of a squat, or you can be, uh, you can do a bit of uh, push-ups, you can do a bit of running. Again, this shock, creates the vibration frequency and then also internally it changes your feeling okay it activates your energy it creates the flow and then there's another thing that i wanted to talk about this applies to everyone it's a tapping and the reason why the tapping is so important because the the tapping you know these tapping things like body tapping as well but essentially um, the reason why it's so powerful is because Chinese medicine, which is acupuncture, and also the modern psychology and in your science. So there's a 14 energy line within a body, and there's a, there's a energy is is flowing. And there's actually study shows that you know when acupuncture put the needle in this energy line, which is acupuncture point, um, you feel lighter and the stress is is going away and etc. This is beautiful, beautiful work and beautiful Chinese medicine. But there's actually study shows when you tap the point that you that they put the needle in, they have almost the same effect as the needle. So you can just tap it instead of putting the needles. So that's why I personally do uh, twice a day, like in the morning and the night. And sometimes I'll just do it when I go walk out, or like in the middle of the day, to just release my stress or change the mood. You can just literally just tap entire body, like head to toes. And by doing so, you activate certain energy and then you create the flow of this, um, the energy line, the 14 energy line within your body. And these 14 energy lines actually are connected to the neural cluster. So it helps you to also change your belief. That's fucking amazing, right? So you can approach to your body and that essentially is approaching to your mind. And by approaching to your mind, changing the mindset allows you to go to the gym. Changing your mind and changing your belief allows you to exercise better. So it's intertwined, it's completely connected, but we have to approach both in order to create this maximum result to our mind and to our body. And by doing so, you start to feel better, which is your body. Your body needs to raise your vibration frequency because we are producing that vibrational frequency out there, right? And then also our mind, our thoughts, is the thing. This is uh, said by Napoleon Hill. Thoughts is the thing. So essentially what he is saying is that our thoughts are not just random thoughts that like we experience in our mind, but it is actually the energetic object. You need to also approach your mind. What you think you needs to be aware. You need to be aware of what you're thinking and what you be be believe. What do you believe? about you and about your action, about your capability, about your self-image. And that needs to be changed. And when you start saying these things, what you believe, because you are always you know, in a conversation with somebody, right? Your family, girlfriend, boyfriend, friends, you're talking something, whether it's an opinion about politics or about opinion about X, Y, Z, or about your business, about your self-image, about your experience, you're speaking with that vibrational frequency. So you do approach from the various way because human being is designed 
in such a well balanced way. It's not like it's not like just if you do believe, then everything else is perfect. It's not like that. You have to approach to everything in order to have the healthy, high vibrational individual. So again, the journaling is very, very important. Affirmations, writing you using the physical movement to change approach your belief, right? And then by saying something positive, saying something better about yourself or your uh, what you want as an affirmation, you're speaking out. Don't do affirmations in your mind. Say out loud. Make it vibrant, okay? And by doing tappings and go to the gym, doing go uh, aerobics or some dancing, a class, an exercise, allow you to vibrate as well. So with that said, these are like exactly what I do every single day. And in order to maintain my high vibration frequency, so that I can just set my neutral very very high, rather than just like my neutral is low, because it's gonna match with all the low, low vibration frequency. In order for me to repel all these. Um, the low vibration frequency, I have to be matched with the high vibration frequency because I'm not going to match with them so that all the beautiful things just keeps happening when I'm matching with this high vibration frequency. And those are the choices. It's the small things, right? Like it takes only 10 minutes to write these things. And I'm pretty sure you do have 10 minutes. Okay, it doesn't have to be the first in the morning. You can just say when you actually arrived at work. You can always be creative with all these things. We all have this 10 minutes to write things down. We always have this time to just tap a body. We can also find a time to go to the gym. We can also find a time to be aware and reflect, hmm, why did I say that thing? It's like, I don't want to believe that. Let me just analyze it and reflect my belief about what I just, what I just said. So I always find a time to do everything that I just said in this video. And then I can guarantee if you do this everything that I just said every single day, you will feel different and then you will attract something different. Your life can change just like that. And of course, if you keep those high vibration frequency, you have to maintain every single day. And in the long run, when you spend six months or one year and in hindsight, you look back and wow, like, there's so much change has been made and then almost like like an, like a movie called Inception. Yeah, I don't know if you watched it, but there's a, there's a scene that the entire city just like go up and like create a war and then like, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool if you haven't watched a movie called Inception. Well, you can't, you can't see such a scene in your life, but you're bending your reality just like that. All right, with the said. Create the time, okay? If you successfully watch this video entirely, then create the time, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and do everything I said in this video. And I guarantee within the seven days or 14 days, perhaps in two weeks, you will see so much different things that comes into your life. And you, that means you start deconstructing your reality and you have to keep it. All right, with that said, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Live your life like a movie.